to YouTube, it's Hake here, and in this video, we're going to take a look at how to repair missing or corrupted Windows 10 system files, or, uh, and how to uh, scan the hard drive for errors, so you may want to be doing this and if your uh, computer is having problems with the operating system and you're experiencing blue screens, or say your uh, uh, corrupted operating system, or somehow your uh, Windows 10 operating system is not working correctly, and um, I'm going to show you how we can attempt to repair some of the common problems in Windows like blue screens and try to fix missing or corrupted files, alright? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to run check disk and a couple of other things in the command prompt and and uh, we'll attempt to repair them. But the very first thing we're going to do is we're going to boot the system into safe mode. So uh, whether you're booted into the computer in, in the normal mode or not, or whether you can log into the computer or not, you want to restart the computer. And uh, if you can't log into Windows, don't worry, we're going to attempt to log into safe mode. So whether you're logged into Windows or not, you want to restart the system. So I'll go ahead and we'll power it off. And we'll restart the computer. So uh, this let the computer restart and we're going to boot up into safe mode here because we'll have a better chance at repairing Windows in safe mode than we will on the uh, normal environment. So uh, let's just let this uh, restart here for a minute. Alright, so now the computer is just going to restart. As soon as you see your Windows logo appear, you're going to restart the computer again because we want to get the uh, safe mode option to come up. So as soon as you see the Windows logo, restart, hold down the power button and restart the computer. And you're going to repeat this once more after this. So uh, once you get that Windows logo back up, we're going to do it again. As soon as you see the Windows logo, we'll uh, restart one more time. And if you do that, we should have an option called, uh, it should say, uh, start an automatic repair and once you get that start an automatic repair you're in good shape so uh, we're just booting it into the recovery console so uh, this let that load Alright, so once that's done, you're going to get uh, automatic repair, your computer couldn't start correctly, and you're going to come down and hit advanced options, and then you're going to click troubleshoot, then you're going to click advanced options again, and then you're going to click startup settings, and then what this will do is this will enable safe mode here, so uh, once you get this open, you're just going to click restart, and that will restart your system, and then you'll have the option to boot up into safe mode. Alright, so now when you reboot the computer, we're going to ha we have the option to boot into safe mode or safe mode of networking. So what we're going to do is we're going to boot into the safe mode of command with networking. So we're going to hit number five on the keyboard, and that will boot us into safe mode of networking here. So we'll just let safe mode of networking load up real quick here. So uh, I'll pause the video. Alright, so we're just loading into safe mode here, we'll, and uh, we'll just give it a second. Alright, so once you're into safe mode, you're going to hit your start menu, and you're going to go, once you hit your start menu, you're going to start searching. Just give me a second here. In a virtual box, it's being a little bit difficult. So when you click the search, you're going to search for CMD. And when you see the command prompt, you're going to right click on that. And you're going to go open file location. Alright, so once you open file location, you're going to look for CM the icon CMD. And you're going to right click on that. And you're going to run that as administrator. Alright, so when you run... When, once you do that, you'll get the command prompt open, and it will be pointed at C Windows slash System32. And what you want to do is you want to write check disk like this: C H K D S K, and then you want to put a space slash F slash R, and then click Enter. 
and it's going to say that this disk cannot check this cannot run because the volume is already in use by another process would you like to schedule this volume to be checked at the next time your system restarts you're going to push Y and then click enter and then that will schedule a check disk the next time you reboot the system now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to write scan you're going to write a slash scan with two ends now and then you're going to click enter actually you're going to click sorry I write that you're going to write s f c space slash scan with two ends here now just like I have and then you're going to click enter and what that's going to do is that's going to start um, scanning for missing or corrupted Windows operating system files and uh, attempt to repair them for you. So you will see here it will say verification 1% complete. And, when it, and what this is going to do is it's going to go ahead and check for missing or corrupted operating system files and uh, attempt to repair them. So uh, just let that run and I'll unpause the video when it's done running. So that's so um, that's that complete. Now it's 100% verification complete, and it says Windows re Resource Protection did not find any violations or degree violations. That means there's no operating system files corrupted on this computer. But it, you may have found some corrupted files, and if so, it would have uh, tried to repair them. Uh, I have no corrupted files on that. So uh, at this time, we can now close out of the command prompt once that's done. And you can exit out of the window and we can restart the computer. And we should have commanded check this to run. So we'll go ahead and restart. So uh, if that doesn't fix the problem, what will happen is when you restart the computer, we'll be running the check disk on drive, D on drive C. So we'll just let it restart because we've commanded check disk already. So... Uh, when it restarts, you'll see here that it will start running the check disk real quick. Alright, so now we're just loading right back into Windows one more time. And you're going to have the, it's going to start running check disk here. So it's going to say to skip check and press any key. So uh, if you don't want to skip check and don't press any key and just let it do this. So just let it do this. And uh, now it's going to start scanning and repairing drive C. So uh, this is probably going to go by really fast. But it may take a long, long time if you have a lot of corruptions on your hard drive or if there's uh, operating system files that are corrupted. So uh, We'll just let it do its thing. It may take about five minutes to do, so we're just going to let it run and repair drive C. Alright, so now we're just loading back into Windows here. And if uh, check disk has found anything wrong with the computer, it would attempt to repair the errors. So, uh, in my case it didn't find anything so we're just rebooting back into Windows so we'll give it a minute here Never mind. so uh, we're just logging back into Windows here and uh, if those two options have not helped you, we're going to download a program called the Windows All-in-One Repair Tool, and this will furthermore hopefully help fix the problem. So this may have or may have not fixed your problem. So uh, what you want to do is you want to download something called Windows All-in-One Repair Tool, and we'll have one more final attempt at uh, repairing the operating system. If not, I'll show you. If you're running on Windows 10, I'll show you how to get a new free copy of Windows 10 with the media creation tool off Microsoft website, and you can reinstall Windows if that's the case. So uh, we'll, we'll go ahead and have one more final attempt at repairing the operating system. So if you can get into your desktop, you want to do a search for Windows All-in-One Repair Tool.
Alright, so we'll get it from tweaking.com. So we're just going to download Windows all in one repair tool. I'll have a link for this tool in the description box. This is a free tool that you can use. Alright, so we'll come down to our download link here and we'll download it off Major Creek's website. Alright, so we'll download uh, Windows Own One Repair Tool and install it. Now this Windows All in One Repair Tool is jam packed with uh, with uh, stuff that can repair an operating system that's damaged or corrupted. So the computer is just a little bit slow right now. So uh, all right, so here we go. We're just going to let the download come up. All right, so it's going to download really relatively fast here. Alright, so once that's done downloaded, you can uh, open up Windows All. Alright, so we're just going to go ahead here and uh, install the Windows One All One Repair Tool. So uh, click keep clicking next, 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 and uh, that will install the Windows All One Repair Tool, and this will be our final attempt at repairing the operating system. Now this tool has a lot of features. It can run check disks like we've already just ran, and it could also run the file system checker. But uh, in this case, we're going to be interested in the repair options of this program. So uh, we're just going to click Finish, and we'll open it up. All right, so once that opens up, it's just going to go ahead and verify that there's anything that's corrupted within the program itself. All right. And that it's going to go load up the repair code. So uh, option one, it's going to tell you that you can power off your computer and unplug the battery. And then try to push the power button so you can drain all the power from the system and then try to restart the computer. Believe it or not, there's sometimes there's computers that stop working and all you have to do is take out the battery, completely power the computer off and drain the power off. And then keep pressing the power button while it's unplugged for a few times. And then plug it back in and hook it all up. So you have to, you can read right there. You can take that step if you can't. Uh, if and then reboot back into your computer. And if it's still giving you problems, we're gonna skip ahead to a uh, step two. And we're gonna skip the pre-scan because we don't need to do this. We've already ran check disk before, so we don't need to do it anymore. But under here, we're gonna you can uh, scan your system for infections and. Uh, if you click this, it will pull up a list of tools that you can use to scan your computer for malware. Now, I've already made a video on how to remove malware, so please check that out if it's a malware problem. You shouldn't rely on just this tool, but you can see here, it'll, if you go down, it will give you some helpful uh, videos on how to remove viruses and malware. So that's if um, the computer problem is a malware related issue but uh, in this case it's a corrupted issue so what we'll do is we'll exit the window and we're going to head over to uh, option you can head to, start to option free now that's just to run check disk like we've already ran at the beginning of the video you don't have to click on that option for file system checker we've already ran that when we wrote the scan now command in so we don't have to do that so we'll skip ahead to option five and we're going to click backup registry so we'll just click backup and that will go ahead and back up the Windows registry just for us real quick, just in case we mess up here. All right, so that's the registry backed up, and this one we're just going to click Create System Restore Points. So if you click Create, that's going to go and just create ourselves a System Restore Points. All right, so once that's done, you're going to hit the it's just it's just enabling and creating a system restore point. Hang on, it's just taking a minute. All 
Alright, so it says restore point was created successfully at 2.19 a.m. So I'm done with that. So once the restore point's done, you can go ahead and click repairs. And then you're going to click open rep open repairs. And that's going to list a whole bunch of repairs you can do. So you can reset file permissions for drive C. You can reset registry. You can uh, reset service permissions, re-register system files, repair Windows firewall, repair Internet Explorer, reset MDA whatever that is, repair host file, remove policies set by infections, repair start menu icons, remove by infections, the list goes on and on, remove temp files, repair network, so you can check the, the all these if you want to, uh, repair file associations, um, repair, restore important Windows services, repair Windows safe mode, so you can untick the ones you don't want to re run, or you can run them all, and then you'll start, and you'll click start and repairs, and that will go ahead and start the repairs and hopefully whatever problem you have with the computer it will be resolved so this will take a very very long time to do so I'm not going to run all these repairs so I'm just going to exit out of that so uh, after running this utility if you still have problems with your system you probably are going to have to reinstall Windows so uh, what I strongly recommend you do is I strongly recommend you just instead of buying another copy you can go to Microsoft's website or do a Google search for Windows 10 free download and you can download the media creation tool all over again. Now if you can't get to the website or if your computer can't even boot up, you have to do this over another computer. And in fact, if you were to check out my other YouTube video on how to create a Windows 10 installation DVD, you can reinstall Windows. If you really wanted to. So, uh, we're just going to go over to here. I'll leave the link in the description box. So, uh, you want to download the media creation tool off Microsoft's website and this will allow you to reinstall Windows if this is the this will be the last option that you guys will have if you can't uh, fix a corrupted operating system so uh, we'll just let that down file download alright so when you open up the media creation tool it will give you the option and say we're getting things ready here and what you want to do is you want to just uh, let that run and uh, accept the end user license agreement and just let this run for a minute here so what you want to do is you want to if you're if you're planning on doing this Instead of clicking the upgrade PC now because you're already running Windows 10, you're going to click create an installation media for another PC. Don't worry, you're going to use it on this computer. Click next, and you'll select your, you'll click a use recommended settings for this PC. Or you can uncheck that, and you can choose your, uh, six, your, your edition of Windows, but, uh, or you can just choose recommended settings for this PC. So you click next and in here if you have a USB flash drive you can put the installation files on the flash drive and beat your computer up and reinstall Windows off a USB stick or if you don't have a USB stick you can check ISO file and you can do create an ISO file up and it will head and download the Windows 10 installation files and for, and what you can do is you can burn that onto a DVD and use that and boot your system up with the DVD and reinstall Windows if that's the case but uh if you can't get into your computer at all, you're likely going to have to run the media creation tool on another computer and create it as a DVD up and reinstall Windows yourself. I've already made a video on how to do that. The link for that will be in the description box. So uh, that's your last option if you can't operate the system. I'm just going to exit out of the media creation tool here. And uh, hopefully that will fix the problem. So if the worst case scenario comes, you've got to download media creation tool and reinstall Windows again. And that will let you reinstall Windows. Just remember to back up your files because you will lose all your stuff. So uh, as always, I hope this uh, helped you. And uh, remember to comment, write, and subscribe.